This is the Be Quiet Shadow Rock 3 White Edition. It's everything you loved at the original Shadow Rock 3, but now in white. So let's go over exactly what's so special about the Shadow Rock 3 White. And if you're looking for a white-ish cooler for your snowy themed PC that's gonna blind everyone with how white it is, gonna go over exactly why you may want to consider this one. And also I'd love to thank Be Quiet for sending me this review unit. Thank you so, so much. The Shadow Rock 3 consists of a massive, massive heatsink, five six millimeter heat pipes, and also consists of a super quiet and super fast Shadow Wings 2 120 millimeter fan, which can go all the way up to 1600 RPM. With that kind of combination, it's no wonder that they're rating it for a whopping 190 watts TEP. But naturally what makes it, you know, stand out from its non-white counterpart, please don't make any racist jokes about that, is the fact that it is white, or at least white-ish, because the Shadow Wings fan that it includes is still fully black, apart from the tiny bit of orange in the center for the Be Quiet logo, and the top of the cooler itself also has black elements to it. Probably the biggest deal breaker for most people would probably be the fan, because if you are going for white build, people do usually go for a white fan as well. But thankfully there is a white version of the Shadow Wings 2 fan available if you want it, and you can pretty much use any fan on the cooler. Doesn't have to be from Be Quiet, can be just from anyone as long as it's 120mm. But speaking of the fan, I also have to applaud the way Be Quiet handled the mounting mechanism for the fan. Because in my days I have seen some terrible ways of mounting fans to a heatsink. I'm looking at you thermal right. Here is very simple, you just grab these two things, you put it on the cooler and you hook it on a heatsink. Super simple super easy and it's actually a neat feature is the fact that you have all the components there to actually mount two fans on the heatsink that's right so in the future if its current performance is enough for you you can simply just buy another 120 mil fan and mount it on the back for some extra kick which is pretty nice and with an 190 watt tep it can already pretty much handle most cpus out there if you add another fan, it could really go a long way, especially if you are planning on overclocking. And I know what you're really here for, apart from looking at my gorgeous face. Number one, if it's actually quiet, as the company name implies. And number two, if it actually cools your CPU properly or not. So let's start with the quietness. The fan is able to ramp up all the way to 1600 RPM, but even then it manages to remain fairly quiet, with a rated noise level at max RPM being around 24.4 decibels and at just half speed it's rated at just 11.5 decibels. The thing is pretty much inaudible unless you're really really pushing your CPU. But now on to the main thing, the thermals. And let me explain how we're doing this testing. I could go for a older CPU like an FX 8350 that runs super hot and put it on a test bench just to make it kind of easier to swap out all the coolers we'll be using and stuff like that, but honestly, that just wouldn't really make too much sense for me. Super high TEP CPUs like that are slowly fading away and most people don't have the PC laying on a test bench. Most people have them inside a case which has a limited airflow. So that's why I'll be doing all the testing on my personal rig. Just make it as realistic as possible and for you to be able to see exactly what you can expect yourself. So the CPU is a Ryzen 3700X which is nice and runs at a low TDP that is kind of in line with the kind of TDPs we expect from CPUs nowadays. It's all inside a Corsair 110R case and has three 140mm fans and one 120mm fan for airflow. And I'll be comparing it to two other coolers. Number one is the stock AMD Wraith Prism cooler, so you can see if it's worth you upgrading from a stock cooler or not. And also an AIO, to be more specific, the EK120mm DERGB AIO, which comes in at a very similar price to the Shadow Rock 3. And with that, I'm hoping to settle the question of if at this price point you should go AIO or air cooling. So let's get started with Idle then. At Idle, as you can see, it completely destroys the Wraith Prism, but compared to the AIO, well, it's a bit of a tougher battle. But let's be honest, most people don't really mind what the temperatures are at Idle. Let's check out what it's like in a game. So for this test, I decided to run the Rainbow Six Siege benchmark at max settings and see what the temperatures are there. And here, once again, you can see that the Wraith Prism is destroyed, 
but the AIO is still managing to keep up with the beast that is the Shadow Rock 3. And finally for a stress test, we're going with Cinebench R23, a 10 minute multi-core run of it. And as you can see, once again, it's a very, very close battle between our air cooler and our AIO with the Wraith Prism once again in third place. So overall, as you can see, it just barely performs better than a similarly priced 120mm AIO but it has the added benefit of also being way quieter than that thing. And also, of course, has the added benefit of having, you know, no pipes running for your PC. Though that doesn't mean that the Shadow Rock 3 won't be a bit of a uh, potential eyesore in your PC, because the thing, it's big, almost too big. And as you can see, it's so close to almost touching my glass side panel there. So if you do have a more compact case, definitely make sure that you do have the spacing there to support this monster. But if you have the space for it, that if you have the budget for it, and you have a CPU that actually benefits so much cooling, well, it's really starting to shape up to be a really, really good purchase. And just for fun, I decided to throw in a second 120mm fan to see if that house of cooling or not. And as you can see, it uh, barely did anything. So, Keep in mind that that was just a generic fan that came with my case. So if you go something a bit more high end, like for example another Be Quiet fan to match the one already on the cooler, then your results may vary. Though honestly, who cares? Just who cares about all of that? Who cares about performance? Who cares about thermals when the best part of this cooler is this. Like, I'm not joking here. Okay, maybe joking a bit, but I'm definitely serious when I say this is a really good and handy screwdriver to have around. I'm always surprised they give something like this just with every single CPU cooler. It's mainly there so you can actually mount the cooler in place and allow you to reach one particularly super hard to reach screw, which is a bit weird to include a whole good screwdriver just for that, but honestly, I'll be using this a lot. This is super long, super nice, I like it. And speaking of mounting, the mounting process is also very straightforward. It uses the standard AMD backplate, which is awesome. You just screw in four screws there and then two extra screws to attach the cooler to the standoffs and you're done. Super easy. Well done there. So overall, it's hard to argue with results and the results for these are pretty outstanding. And honestly, it's no surprise because Be Quiet has been this function over form CPU cooler manufacturer for a long time. They're really in that same camp as people like Noctua, where they don't really care about looks as much as they care about pure performance. And that's something that really needs to be appreciated. And this cooler is a reminder that you can still have a really sexy CPU cooler, but that still does its job rather well. And the fact that they are re-releasing it and why just shows that it's all to address this, you know, function over form motto they have going on and they are expanding on the amount of PCs that the Shadow Rock 3 would actually fit in. We had the standard silvery one which fits in more darker themed PCs and now we have this white one which fits in more whitey PCs. So even though of course performance is the biggest priority by far, it's nice to see that they are taking steps to address the fact that you know the CPU coolers may not be for everyone and I'm really hoping to see that they'll maybe re-release more of the stuff in some more interesting color themes or some more interesting designs to really make them stand out more while still keeping true to having the best thermals around. And of course, being quiet. And seeing how you can get it for around $60 to $70, around the same price you can get a really budget AIO, the question there simply comes, well, what do you prefer? Do you prefer the low noise but chunky nature of an air cooler? Or do you prefer an AIO, which would probably also come with some RGB of sorts maybe? But if you don't want your CPU cooler to have as much RGB as all of Las Vegas, well, be quiet still around, and they're still making some amazing products, just like the Shadow Rock 3. And honestly, even if it may not fit fully with my PC, if you are building a white one, and if you want something super clean looking, you could probably go worse than this. And if you're super determined, you can just paint the fan over. That was a joke. Please don't paint your fans, that's a very bad idea. But what's a good idea is if you maybe check out my Patreon, which is gonna be down in the video description below, because even $1 a month goes a long way in helping my channel and allows me to make way better videos and also videos on way more interesting topics. I'd also love to thank my Patreons, Gavin Burns, LKB, Naomi Sushi, Ryan, Tiffany Jacobs, and Wolfie. Thank you all so, so much. It really does help. If you want to pick up this 
Cooler yourself or some other stuff from Be Quiet, then all the links are going to be down in the video description below, along with our Amazon Associates links. And also down there is our Discord if you want to talk to me or us or this or whatever else, really. And that's about it, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. <laughs>